watching CBS2 News This Morning in High Definition. So all this week on Two in the Kitchen, we're showing you easy dinner meals for your family. Now that school's starting up and you get the after yeah, school so stuff, busy. everyone's getting back to their busy routine. Executive Chef Roberto Hernandez from Dos Caminos is here to show us how to make chicken enchiladas. Great to see you, Roberto. Thank you so much for coming yeah. in. Great to be here. Thank you for having me. And this is kind of cool, a little bit different than the enchiladas. We're going to actually make a casserole. Absolutely. This is going to be a, a uh, layered uh, enchilada casserole, yes. which is great for back to school, mm -hmm. you know, because you can, you can actually make these ahead of time throw them in the freezer and freeze them for up to three months and then one day when you're in, in the mood for this nice hearty meal you can just that's pop not it in gonna the last oven. three months pal well yeah <laughs> tell you, it's going to go quickly i got some hungry kids too <laughs> all right so what do we need to start with well uh first of all let's start with the uh, the chicken preparation that we have okay. here so what we're going to do is uh, why don't you help me out rob why don't you yep. take this marinade right here yes and just spoon it onto the chicken or support right on there okay yep what we're doing is we're marinating the chicken in our uh red chili marinade right. here, let me move this out of the way there, there we go and then you just take that, put some aluminum foil on there, and throw it in our oven underneath here. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're going to okay. place it right under there. Perfect. Okay. How right. long does that cook? Uh, that cooks for about 45 minutes at a 350-degree oven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and right after that, what we're going to do is do the ingredients for the salsa. So, so what do you have in here? So what we have here is some uh, fresh tomatillos, oh. some Spanish onion, a little bit of serrano chili, mm -hmm. and there's some, a little bit of garlic clove in there as well. Gotcha. So what we do is we'll drizzle a little bit of olive oil. Again, cover it and throw it in the oven underneath. Okay, great. And then right when that comes out, let's, we'll pretend it came out of the oven. We'll put yeah. it right here in our, in our, uh, our blender. Now, I noticed there's some seeds left in these. Does yes. There's going to be some heat? There's going to be some heat in there. There's going to be a little bit of heat, not too much. It, it'll, it'll help with, the, uh, with, the, with everything in, in, the, in the components of the right. dish. So mm -hmm. we definitely need a little bit of that. Oh, so right into the blender. Right into the blender. Okay. And then we'll just uh, put the lid on there. We'll turn the blender on. Yeah. And then what you have, the final, here. The final product will be here, our salsa. Oh. Wow. Here we go. Nice, refreshing, That's tangy salsa easy. verde. Oh, it is very, very mm -hmm. easy. And now, why don't you help me here? We'll start uh, assembling the, uh, the casserole. Okay, what do we need to do? All right, do? why don't you grab that chicken right there? Chicken. Okay, put that in your bowl. Okay. Okay, and that's the chicken that's been in the oven for 45 minutes, nice right. and tender, nice mm -hmm. and juicy and moist. We're going to have a little bit of roasted corn in that small ramekin. Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit of corn in there as well. Now you just mix everything together. Sure. Okay. And in here, why don't you uh, start laying the tortillas in the, uh, so in the casserole. the first. Yep, okay. tortillas are the first. Tell me how to do And now we're using, we, sure. we're using whole wheat tortillas for this dish. Generally mm -hmm. in the restaurant, we use corn tortillas, but we're switching over to whole wheat tortillas as of next week because they are, uh, they're better to use, they're fresher, they're more healthier, yeah. and they're just better for... Do more better people for, ask for that, too? They do, they do. More people are asking for more and more. Yeah, so yeah. we decided to switch them all over. That's well, a good okay. idea. Okay, okay, so then we'll... Kind of push these in oh, like that. I knew I did it wrong. That's Sorry okay. about that. That's what I'm here. Okay, so the salsa at the bottom. A little bottom. bit of salsa at the bottom right there. Okay, Rob, why don't you put that chicken in there for me? Okay. Okay. Look at that. Looks All right. Good. I know. This is now awesome. you get a nice big heaping pile of cheese right there. Yeah. Oh, extra cheese, please. Yes, absolutely. Okay. All of it? Okay. Yeah, uh, half of it. That's good. I just and every, put some more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to put uh, more salsa mm -hmm. just to moisten up the dish, give it some more uh, flavor. Okay. And then we're going to put the top layer of the tortillas on there. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. So this is how it's done. That's now how it's we done. Know. The okay. secret's out. And now we, uh, we'll take this, this dish and we'll throw it in our oven again. Mm -hmm. And what we have here is our finished product. Awesome. And then we're just going to put a little bit more of this fresh salsa right on top. And then why don't you help me finish this? Sure. Grab the sour know. cream right there. You just drizzle it? a little bit on top. Mm -hmm. You do it so nice, though. <laughs> so you can do it, too. Write your name. <laughs> hey, that, that is her name. A little bit of lettuce on it. <laughs> that Mary. Okay. And, and some radish just to finish off. Radish. I'm just going by a symbol these days, John. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And there you go. And this is the final dish. This is our, our chicken enchilada uh, casserole. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Thanks for cooking for us, Mary and Rob. <laughs> you yeah, you guys did all the work. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very yeah. easy for me. Doing all the work. So now right, we're going to have to help us do yes, this. Yes, I'm going to serve it for you guys. Okay. Dos Caminos has three locations in Manhattan. And for this recipe, you can go to our website, cbsnewyork.com. Well, thanks so much. And you're welcome. You get to eat this in the commercial. So yeah. Cut it up in little pieces. <laughs> Absolutely. We have a lot of folks. Uh, another sure. airline changes the sizes of its seats. Find out who's joining the slim down. Okay. Sorry, Miranda.